Hello, I'm John Barboza, and you are watching Hypnotism 101. On February 27, 1960, a horror movie called The Hypnotic Eye made its rounds in the movie theaters. It was a low budget B movie about women who engaged in self mutilation after being hypnotized. I've talked about how movies can be detrimental to hypnosis, and this movie is no different, even though the movie may seem corny to us now. I believe there are still people who will interpret some of the things that occur in the film as being real or legit. Now that's because the truth about hypnotism and the fallacies are weaved together throughout the picture, which can leave the viewer confused about what can and cannot occur in hypnosis. Gil Boyne, an American pioneer in modern hypnotherapy, was the technical advisor of the movie, and that's why a lot of the hypnosis scenes were very realistic. And a lot of the language used in the film are things that you can hear being said today. For example, the psychiatrist in the movie explains how hypnosis can be used in psychotherapy and as an anesthetic. And that's true, it can be used in therapy and as an anesthetic. He also despises stage hypnotists and he calls them phony and says, they prostitute the science of hypnosis by sometimes hiring stooges to put on cheap, fake, corny stunts. And you hear this today, even from people walking out of comedy stage hypnosis shows, believing that every one of the volunteers on stage were faking being hypnotized. Now that would be quite an interesting feat to accomplish. And I can understand why they believe this because it looks unreal, it looks fake, but it's just not true. If someone were to try and get away with putting on a fake hypnosis show, I'm certain professional hypnotists around the world would reveal and despise such actions. There are a couple of stage hypnosis scenes where the audience participates in group demonstrations. This is known as convincers. And this is where the hypnotist Desmond convincingly persuades the audience members to believe in what is being told. He also creates triggers to cause volunteers to find it impossible to open their eyes and then open them on command. This technique, which is used today, is known as eye catalepsy. And the interesting thing about the audience group participation is that I can imagine watching this scene in a movie theater on a large silver screen and seeing the audience in the theater also following the hypnotist's suggestions and entering a light state of hypnosis. So imagine back in the 60s when this movie came out, the easily suggestible audience members must have been terrified with the final words at the end of the movie from the psychiatrist who said, and I quote, hypnosis, although an important and valuable medical tool can be extremely dangerous when improperly used by untrained or unscrupulous practitioners. Therefore, never allow yourself to be hypnotized by anyone who is not a medical doctor or who has not been recommended to you by your doctor, not even in a motion picture theater. Thank you, unquote. I'm John Barboza, and this is Hypnotism 101.